I'm here at the beautiful Upton House to show you how to make these lovely little beanbag Easter chicks. They're made with scrap fabric, so they're a perfect way to get recycling. You will need some fabric, felt, some buttons, rice, a needle and thread, a ruler and cotton padding. First you need to pick your fabric for your Easter chick and I've gone for this lovely spring gingham. And then you need to measure double the length about to the width. So you're looking at, for a smaller chick, 11 centimetres by 20 centimetres. So now we just need to cut it out. It's really important that you cut your lines quite straight because when it comes to sewing, it will make your life a lot easier. And there you have your body fabric for your chicken. Okay, so now it's time to do the features for your Easter chick. You can make your chick your own. Uh, actually, mine's more of a rooster, um, but I've given him a beak, a wattle and a comb. So we're going to cut those out of felt now. You're looking at about a three centimetre wide by three centimetres going outwards for the beak. So there we have your little chick's beak. And then for his wattle, you're just making it like a big teardrop, really. And then finally, you want to do that very stylish comb. And this looks a bit like three big bumpy hills or a rounded fan. So once you've finished all of your shapes, it's time to place them onto your fabric. Now this bit's really, really important. You need to make sure the side that you want people to see is face up. Then you just need to take your comb, pop it near to the right hand corner, but not too far over, just in case you sew it by accident. Place it like that. Then you take your beak and you place that along the right hand side with the point facing inwards and just over the bottom of your comb. And then finally, you just need to place your wattle underneath at an angle. And then you just need to bring the ends of your fabric together. So you fold it up. I'm going to use a few pins just to hold those felt pieces in place. Okay, so I've put my pins in place and now I'm just going to sew around two edges of my little chick's body. So we're going to go up the right hand side of the fabric and along the top, stitching those felt pieces into place. I'm going to use a simple back stitch and I'm going to do it maybe about half a centimetre away from the edge. Once you've got your little knot in place, then you can just carry on all the way up and all the way across the outside of your chick. And you're going to leave this side open because that's how you turn it inside out. Okay, so once that's done, it's time to pull out your pins. This is my favourite bit actually, because this is when you get to turn it inside out and see the shape of your chick coming together. And so now we're going to pop on our eyes. So for this you'll need your two buttons. Make sure you don't go all the way through. You just want to go through one side of the fabric and then sew your button on. And then you do the exact same thing on the other side. And you've got your fantastic chick's face. So now it's time to fill your chick up. So I'm going to use cotton bump, or you could use cotton wool or a scrunchy bit of newspaper. Anything to keep his head nice and plump. And then we're going to fill up his body with some rice, or you could use any kind of dried bean actually, or grain. Uh, fill him up all the way to the top. Just leave a little bit of a gap. And here is the fun trick to give him that fantastic shape to his body. You need to fold the ends in and pinch the sides like so and then you're going to sew along the back here, so along this seam. And once you've finished your seam, you'll have a very handsome chick like this. If you've had fun making this Easter chick, then why not go to our website to find out more fun things that you can do this Easter time. <laughs> <laughs>